Hey guys, and welcome back to Tentu Z. When we last left off, we were killing more greedy merchants, apparently, because. Because, okay. Uh, so, let's continue. Let's equip some items. We're definitely going to be taking some of these bad boys along with us, because apparently, who would have thunk it? These blowguns are actually pretty good. Right, here is your next mission. Select a difficulty that matches your abilities. Uh, okay, recover the bombs. We're back in Harbour Town to recover 10 bombs. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. The Castle Lord, Matsa Muno Moonshine, Goda, reports large quantities of explosives in Harbour Town. If the townspeople find out, there will be chaos. <coughs> Excuse me. We must quickly and quietly resolve this problem. Well, okay then. Let's go find more bombs. So there's no mention of like where these bombs came from or anything. Just that there are bombs all over the town for reasons that we may never know. Okay. At least the bombs actually show up on the map. And also, if we're in Harbour Town which I guess is one of our villages. Why do we have to kill everybody? Now, ordinarily, I would say, you know, maybe we don't have to kill everybody, right? But if we don't kill anybody, we actually get punished. Oh, there's a dog there. Because we don't get any points, right? If we don't get points, we can't get the top rank. So, yeah, we actually have to kill these guys. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I'm not sure why these ninja, you know, shadows of Goda have to kill, like, literally everybody. Like, because I just assumed sometimes that maybe we're in a neighboring country. Or province, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But that doesn't make sense. Like, if this has to be ours. Otherwise, why would we care about the fact there's bombs all over the town? Goda is a small place, apparently, that I guess has a relatively small army. So you would have thought that we're actually being very counterproductive here by thinning the military out i don't know <laughs> this game it just it doesn't make any sense but whatever i guess what the fuck ever all right well there's the tom Let's see no we can't draw him out i was hoping we could And there are still some sailors around. Oh, God. I wonder if Ryu's out here somewhere. Looking for sailors. That was almost a dumb idea. Almost. Almost got caught there. Alright. Let's go thin everybody out before... We take the bombs out. Now, there's this dog here. Now, I don't think this dog is actually going to be a problem. I don't think we get anything for killing dogs. But, I don't want to take the risk. I mean, look at him. He's a cheery little boy. Seems a bit of a shame that we have to go skin this poor pooch. But, you know. We live in miserable times. Feudal Japan was apparently not a very nice place. Who would have thought it? Okay. So, let's be sneaky little goits. I find it interesting as well, just how smooth this game is. Uh, you know, and I know it basically does look like a PlayStation 2 game. I don't have a problem with that because it runs so nicely. No, I don't think there's any frame issues at all in this game whatsoever. 
So it's kind of interesting that when they went to the Dark Souls kind of, you know, games, I mean, Dark Souls, the first game, I never played the others, but I did play the first game on the 360, and that didn't run. Like, you know, the fact that they were actually asking money for that is, in my opinion, insane. I remember a particular bit near the beginning of the game where the frame rate literally went down to like, it must have been under 10 frames a second uh, when you're trying to fight these skeletons on this bridge and they're throwing bombs at you. And yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm not actually going to give money um, for that. Like, if you can't make your game run at a decent frame rate, you're obviously doing something very wrong. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to blow dart that guy. He's going to walk off, though. He's dropped some lunch. That's nice. Yeah, frame rate for me is such an important thing. I don't really care too much about graphics. I mean, I like it when a game's pretty. But I'd rather have a game that runs well. I can live without stupid uh, resolutions. Let's just get rid of him. Let's get rid of you. Because you're going to be a problem. I like the fact that even if we use the blow dart, they have explosive bloody diarrhea. Kind of makes me <laughs> makes me wonder what, what we're putting in these darts. That was also quite funny. That guy literally sees his mate just have explosive diarrhea from the arsehole. Uh, <laughs> no shit given whatsoever. Good man, that man. I guess he was just thinking, well, I ain't seen nothing, chief. I'm going to turn a blind eye to this. Unfortunately, my friend, that doesn't really get you anywhere. Not in few Japan, apparently. Oh, we have a bear. We're not going to be playing with the bear, to be honest. Uh, bears generally are pretty rough customers. I did try to take a bear on, uh, on one of the levels. And yeah, it didn't go very well. And I used just about every ability I had to try and take this bear on. And it, yeah, it, no. Bears apparently in this game are almost invincible. I mean, I hurt it and made it bleed. Uh, you know, but holy shit. Definitely not worth fighting. Now. What is down here? This area looks quite calm. I've got to say, with these blow darts, why would you not use them? Like, they are crazy. Crazy powerful. Damn it, I knew he was going to have to turn towards me. Also, what's the point in hiding in a bush if you then can't see anything? Alright, that'll do. That'll do, Donker. That'll do. Come with me. I'm sure you're nothing to do with all these explosives everywhere, but apparently Goda says you have to die. For no reason other than you exist. So... Apparently, if you take up a sword in the defense of Goda, uh, that means you're free game to its ninjas. Now, that is an innocent. Not gonna do much to him. Might knock him out, maybe. Alright, let's maybe get rid of him just for now just so we can have a little bit of an exploration around here all 
Okay, so we know there's explosives on the boat. And there's some down there. Right, that's a nin... Well, it's not a ninja. It's more of a samurai. Doesn't appear to be anyone else there. So, let's... Do you in. Hopefully. Ooh, there's a spear guy. Tempted to take him out with a dart. Tempted. But we could just run up. Uh, let's risk it for a biscuit, risk it for a biscuit. Oof, okay. Paid off. There's no one else on the boat, which is nice. Come on. Apparently that's alerted people. I very much doubt they're going to come down here, though. Now, can we go around? Maybe. Um, I mean, there's some very awfully textured water there. But is anyone actually surprised at that? Alright, so there's a... Okay. So we've got a sailor there. I'm not going to worry too much about him. That's a samurai. I can actually wait for him to come this way, surely. There might be more high value targets up and around the corner. Don't think that sailor's going to come down here. Right, we'll wait for him. Wait for him to turn around. And then knife the bastard in the back. Kill him like the lowly dog he is. Come on, there we go. Right, that's the end of him. Now that sailor might be a little bit more of a problem. Literally a tiny bit more of a problem, but if we get the high ground, we should be okay. Is there nobody up there? Really? Is this you? That surprises me. Oh, what did you drop? Ocarina. Apparently there is somebody above there. But we need to find out who that is. So we don't really want to go all the way up there if it's just like a civilian. Okay. Okay. Someone... Somebody's walking around here. Ah, there you are. Okay. I guess... Just an unknown samurai. That's unfortunate for this dude. Right, we should now be clear. Apart from that one like civilian that's still walking around somewhere. Did we kill the Tom? I think we killed the Tom. Let's just have one last sweep around. Make sure there's nobody that has missed our vengeance. Yeah, the Tom was there. That's it. Now let's go see if that civvy's still sleeping. No, he's got back up. Right, that's fine. Wait, that is a civilian, isn't it? That is, yeah. So, let's go put him back to sleep. Just because it's fun. In fact, that's actually not a bad place for you to go have a little nap. Right, you stay there, dude. 
we are going to go and take care of all the bombs and save your life. Not sure why you're the only one uh, in this area that we're not allowed to kill. You know, I mean, I don't make the rules. So, you know, don't be too angry at me. Okay, so there should be a bomb down here, apparently. This area should be pacified. Oh, some more lunch. There we go. Come to mummy. All right. It is quite cool. Like, once you've killed everybody, you can skulk around. I fail to believe that there isn't more people in these houses. Seriously. That seems very questionable. And who put a bomb up there? I mean, I guess somebody that didn't want anybody to find it, right? But still. And we've got two bombs on the boat and one by the passed out peasant. Cool. In fact, we're going to go walk past this guy again. Ooh, put that away. Let's go. Give him another lump on the head. Because, hey, fuck that guy, right? Give me the bomb. What else have we got? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him slumped over like a sack of shit. Lovely. I suppose we'll confiscate these spears as well. Uh not sure why we're saving this boat. Wasn't this boat like some sort of foreigner boat that we were quite phobic of? And that's that. Yeah, that uh, blowgun definitely gets us out of some tricky situations. Nice. Happy with that. Ninja 5. And it does count as getting all stealth kills with the blowgun. Because, I mean, technically you're killing them without them being aware of you. But I thought maybe because we're using an item. Hmm, and you get extra points for being undetected. But you only get 150 points for being undetected. That's not really a lot. Still, a bit more coin in our purse. So close to 50% of this game being done. Okay, Secrets of the Ninja. Right, that's not bad. Um, okay, guys. Bit of a short one today, but that's the way it is, unfortunately. Uh, recording time is getting very thin on the ground, so I'm going to call it a video here. When we come back, uh, I guess more murdering. Who knows? Maybe we're going to have another greedy merchant to kill or something. Maybe a monk again. Maybe even another ninja master. With Tenchu Z, you never know. But one thing is for sure, it's going to be the same old map. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.